Hi, I'm Mitch Resnick, Professor of Learning Research here at the MIT Media Lab, and I'm one of the organizers of the Learning Creative Learning online course. In this course, we'll be exploring the what, why, and how of creative learning. What is creative learning? Why is it more important now than ever before? And how can we support and encourage creative learning? I can't think of a better place to start our exploration of creative learning than here at the MIT Media Lab, which has earned an international reputation for creativity and innovation. What makes the Media Lab such a hotbed for creativity? The key, I think, is that the Media Lab is run somewhat like a big kindergarten. Think of a traditional kindergarten. Kids are playfully creating things in collaboration with one another, you know, making castles out of wooden blocks or pictures with finger paint. In the process, they're learning about the creative process and developing as creative thinkers. Here at the Media Lab, the tools and building materials might be somewhat different, but the process is the same. Students are playfully creating things in collaboration with one another, and that helps them develop as creative thinkers. Now, unfortunately, if you walk into most elementary schools or middle schools or high schools, you see something very different. Often, kids are sitting in desks, listening to lectures, filling out worksheets. The focus is on delivering information or delivering instruction. This approach is even seeping down into kindergarten, where kids are looking at phonics flashcards or filling out math worksheets. In short, kindergarten is becoming more like the rest of school. In my research group here at the Media Lab, we're trying to do exactly the opposite. We want to make the rest of school, in fact, the rest of life, more like kindergarten. So we call our group the Lifelong Kindergarten Group. Let's go inside and take a look. The goal of our Lifelong Kindergarten Group is to provide all children of all ages, of all backgrounds, with opportunities to design, create, experiment, and explore, just like kids in kindergarten. Our approach we sometimes characterize with four words, projects, passion, peers, and play. We apply these ideas to everything we do. We try to provide opportunities for kids to work on projects where they start with the inkling of an idea and carry through to a finished project. We encourage kids to follow their passions because we know that they're going to work longer and harder and persist in the face of challenges when they're working on things they really care about. We support kids working with peers because we know that learning is a social process, not just an individual endeavor. And we encourage a playful approach to learning where kids are constantly experimenting, taking risks, trying new things. We've applied these ideas to lots of different projects over the years. For more than 30 years, we've collaborated with the Lego toy company to develop new technologies that enable kids to build their own robots and other interactive inventions. We've created new spaces like computer clubhouses where young people from low-income communities can come and learn to express themselves creatively with new technologies. And we're developing the Scratch programming language, which millions of kids around the world are using to create their own interactive stories and games and animations, and then share their creations in an online community with other kids around the world. We decided to create the Learning Creative Learning online course to share the ideas underlying our lifelong kindergarten approach and to build a community of educators and parents and designers who are interested in these ideas. In this course, we'll be diving into the four P's of creative learning. We'll be sharing the stories and lessons learned from some of our lifelong kindergarten projects. You'll get a chance to try out some of our technologies, like Scratch. And we'll be discussing how to put the four P's of creative learning into practice. Perhaps most important, we're hoping that the course provides you an opportunity to meet and share ideas with other like-minded people from around the world. We really need to find ways to encourage and support creative learning everywhere for everyone. We're hoping that learning creative learning will provide you with an opportunity to learn more about creative learning so that we can all work together to provide all children from all backgrounds with opportunities to become full and active contributors in tomorrow's society. Mm -hmm.